My name is Max Meichern, and I'm very happy to be presenting to you one of my modules, WWW Mechanized Firefox. Um, <coughs> oh, oh, sorry, I'm military, so yes, there are some other people coming still.
And why is this a problem? It is a problem because Perl is not good at JavaScript, which is not that big of a surprise because Perl is Perl and JavaScript is JavaScript. But it is a problem for me because I want to use Perl. There are modules for doing JavaScript with Perl. For example, there is JavaScript Spider Monkey by Mike Shilly and Thomas Bush on CPAN. It uses the Mozilla JavaScript interpreter, but it has many external prerequisites, lots of C libraries you need to first compile before you can even start to try to compile Spider Monkey, and then you can compile the CPAN module. And it also provides only the JavaScript interpreter, no DOM, no rendering engine, no anything, which makes it yeah, not really suitable for my task. Then there is JavaScript engine by someone <coughs> who calls himself Pavel Chris so Tomos on CPAN. I don't know, maybe you are here and want to tell me how your name is pronounced. The module JavaScript engine is written in Pure which makes it very convenient to install everywhere. It has another small drawback. It is very slow because it is a JavaScript interpreter written in Perl. But there are even mechanized modules using it, like www.mechanized.javascript or www.scripted, which are both, I think, also by Father Chris, Chris Now, I have the idea, what if I could use Firefox? Firefox would be a great solution, because Firefox is an accepted solution, an accepted application in our company. It is installed on almost every workstation. It is a compatible platform because all or most of our web applications are supposed to work with Firefox directly. And one thing I really, really <coughs> like, Firefox is an interactive platform. It displays me the rendered HTML and I can watch my program walk through the website just yeah, have, like having a co-pilot um, that does all the work, but I can still keep an eye on it and do visual debugging to see where exactly my program <coughs> ended up in the application. But there is a small problem. Paul can't easily talk to Firefox. I could try to send mouse clicks, or I could try to send key presses to navigate the browser. But that's not interactive because, well, I can send my information there, but yeah, Firefox won't talk to me. I send a mouse click, but did I click on the button or did I click three pixels besides the button? I don't know. So that's not really good. And it's also not really robust because if I am using the same machine at the same time as one of my scripts, well, sending keystrokes will end up in the wrong application. That's not fun. But there is a Mozilla add-on called Mozrattle, and this opens a Telnet console directly into Firefox. Firefox itself is written mostly in JavaScript, and using this Mozrattle add-on, you can send JavaScript directly into the main JavaScript interpreter of Firefox. Yeah, and that using a network TCP interface. And luckily, Paul knows how to talk to a network interface. So I talk using the module mechanized Firefox to that Telnet port of Firefox. And then I can use Firefox as if it were www mechanized. Mechanize Firefox provides an extended API of www Mechanize using Firefox as a backend. What are the 
features, well, it implements the normal www mechanized API you maybe already know, like get, post, but no, post is not implemented because I didn't ever need it. It also implements JavaScript, which was the main reason I wrote it. It implements CSS selectors and XPath selectors for extracting information out of the web pages and for finding the right element you want to click or display or highlight or remove or whatever from the page. It supports JavaScript events like onload, onclick or whatever. And it also reaches deep into Firefox and can, for example, provide you the JavaScript error messages that only pop up in the console of Firefox or yeah, whatever other fancy things Firefox provides. What can you use the module for? Well, of course, for automation of websites, but you can also use it to do unit tests of your JavaScript libraries using Perl, because you can yeah, seamlessly interact with your JavaScript from Perl, and you can write your tab tests just as usual, except that you call JavaScript code in Firefox. You can even do weird things like writing your validation code in JavaScript and run it on the client, but also run it on the server if you have Firefox running on your server as well. Not that I advocate that, but it might be a crazy solution for a problem, I don't know. Speaking of crazy things, I will show some other things I find crazy later. Well, let me see how far I the time. Very good. So now I'm going to try a live demo. Hopefully, the network works. Oh, well, let's do the same. I have on full screen mode. Okay, here you see yeah, the most basic usage of mechanized Firefox. I create a new mechanized Firefox object and then open the website conferences, Yaxi Europe, or YE 2010. And if I start the program, you see there is a new tab opened. It's not focused by default because I don't want, while I'm lazily surfing the web, my other programs to interfere with watching nice kittens on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there is that tab, and the program waits until I press enter and then the tab gets closed again. Not very fancy, but it was a major success for me to have this happen. Well, the same thing, but as a backup solution should the network not work, you can also open a local file, which is for development situations much, much more important if you are debugging some JavaScript or whatever. As I said, you can reach deep into Firefox. For example, you can look at <coughs> what tab the user is currently looking at, and you get also notifications when the user changes the active tab. This happens through the green event listener code. Firefox fires the on-location change event whenever you switch between tabs. And yeah, so you can listen with your program to what the user is currently looking at and I don't know, 